Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what pH is and why we use it. Now, if I were to take your blood and measure the concentration of sodium in your blood, it's gonna be around about 142 millimoles. If I take the potassium and measure the concentration of that in your blood, around about four millimolar. And if I were to measure the hydrogen concentration, it's gonna be 0 0.00004 millimolar. Now, that's a very low number. You've got a very low concentration of hydrogen ions in your blood. And there's too many zeros here to put on a chart. So we don't wanna write it like this. We wanna write it another way. So anytime you want to change around with values or units, you don't want to use the milli, you want to go straight to the molar. So we need to change this. So the hydrogen ion concentration is the molar and going from milli to molar is three decimal places. So it's going to be 0 0.00000004 molar. Now again, too many zeros. We can't have this. So what do we do? Well, if we want to get rid of these zeros, we can take the log. Now the log will get rid of all these decimal places. So if we were to do the log of hydrogen ion concentration, what we end up getting is it moves it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimal places into the negative. And if you type it into your calculator, you get negative 7.4. Now we can't write on a medical chart a, the value of something being negative. So to get rid of the negative on that side, we get rid of the negative on this side. So we do the negative log of hydrogen equals 7.4. Let's not write negative log. There's another way of writing negative log. You can write the power of it. The power of hydrogen ions is 7.4. But you know what? We can get rid of that. We can shorten it even further and just do the P from the power and the H from the hydrogen ions and the pH of your blood is 7.4. All pH is is the concentration of hydrogen ions.